Welcome back. Take a look down on River Street. You can still see some of those raindrops on the camera lens as uh, some of the showers are starting to work their way out of the area up towards the north. Saw quite a bit of rain through the area today, and it was still another muggy day out there today. Did see a lot of sunshine as we started the day. Then the clouds rolled in, and the storms did as well. And they're still sticking around. Don't see anybody down there walking around. But all that is good news, though, for the rainfall because we were down for the month until today. So far today at the airport, we saw 1.63 inches, 1.9 inches there at Hunter. Month to date, 4.41. As you see, normal is 3.86. This put us at a plus of a little over a half an inch. We definitely like to see those pluses. Currently, we're at 75 degrees. Winds out of the east around 8 miles per hour. We're going to fluctuate just a little bit. Could drop down just a little bit more before the sun comes up. It's going to be a pretty mild night with all the cloud cover. Another hot day today. 90 for Charleston, 90 for Macon, 96 for Valdez. They saw a heat index close to 105 degrees today. It was kind of sticky out there for us, but not quite that hot. 88 degrees. That's 4 degrees above that normal of 84. And all the humidity and the cloud cover is what helps keep us down into the low 70s for the overnight lows, unlike the 65, which is where we're supposed to be. The radar showing all of the storms that we had moved through the area today. Coming up from the south, as you see, coming through our area now, starting to see just the very tail end of it as it works up through Jasper and Beaufort County, going to continue to work its way off. And the tail end over here towards the west, continuing to work, could possibly run through Statesboro over the course of the next couple of hours. Zoom in just a little bit, and you'll see there, there's the tail end of that storm just crossing over the river. It's just a few spots still popping up here and there. Therefore, tonight, looking at it mostly cloudy, some scattered showers still for about the next couple of hours. Winds will be out of the east around five miles per hour. Looking at getting down to right around 70 degrees tonight. The big picture shows all the showers that we had today due to that frontal system that stalled out just off the coast. But there's another one back behind it already popping up some tornado warnings. We're going to see this come over the course of the next couple of days. There's that stalled system off the coast. It's going to slowly start to creep its way back in for Monday. Start see a chance of showers pop back up again for tomorrow. Then that frontal system comes through on Monday. And you see the tail end of the system start to stall out just a little bit on Tuesday afternoon. It'll stick around there for a little while. And then Tuesday into Wednesday, it'll start to pick up again and cross over us about Wednesday afternoon. So for tomorrow, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds. Afternoon showers right around 90 degrees. It's going to be another muggy day out there. Winds will be out of the south around 5 to 10. 89 for Savannah, Ridgeland, and Hampton. A little cooler at the coast there. Hilton Head, 85 degrees. So those southern winds are going to bring in this warm air. Highs, high tide tomorrow at 728 in the morning. Out on the water, winds will be out of the southwest at 5 to 10 knots. Your seas will be at 3 to 4 feet. Due to all the rain, all the moisture that's out there, that those mold spores are still in the high range, and your weed pollen is in the low range. Stick around. Five-day forecast is next. Continue with those highs topping out right around 90 degrees into the beginning of the week. Around midweek is when we're going to start to see that change. We're going to start to see a little bit of drying out pattern as a, a frontal system picks up and works its way through on Wednesday night. Thursday, looking to dry out and into Friday. But another frontal system coming through into the weekend. Lows, daytime highs going to be close to 90 degrees for the entire five days with overnight lows in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. But that next frontal system we're talking about into the weekend coming Friday night and into Saturday. One of the models showed an overnight low of 54 Ooh. for Friday night into Saturday and then a high on Saturday of about 78. But this is under sunny Keep skies. Keep your windows too. open at yeah. night. Oh, that'll we'll, we'll see. get your sweaters out. No, yeah. I'm, I'm already getting my sweater out. You told me <laughs> I'm doing it now. It's a big difference between the first couple <laughs> days of the week right around 90 to Saturday right around 80. It's going to yeah. feel really good.